welcome back to my channel. This is Christina at Homeschool and Grace. And today's video is a review and how we use spelling power. So I've been asked multiple times how we use spelling power because it is a big, big book. And like, how do you actually use it? It's a lot of reading for the parent and I get it. Like it's, it's intimidating. But I'm going to show with you, share with you just how we do it. So we may not do it perfectly how the book explains, but this is what's working for us. Okay, so to start with, if you're using this, they have you first do a survey test that your child takes to see like where they're going to go for the placement test. So you survey your students' abilities, pretty much. That's the point of it. After that, the next day, you have them do the placement test. And it tells you all in the book how to do those tests. And you can print out the tests from their website. So I print out, um, this isn't the, those tests, but I just print them out each week online. The daily tests and then the 10 step study sheet. But that's been the easiest way for me to do it. So I keep it in a folder for her. Okay, so once you get past the placement test, then you go on to your actual flow word list that you're on, or level or group that you're on with your child. So let's say they end up in level F. Okay, you've done both the tests, now you go to level F. And then you're going to just start at group one. And at the beginning of it, up at the top, it says uh, what they need to learn from that letter or from that week. So that week, um, if we do group one, it's usually A is spelled A as in cat. So all the words are going to, the vowels are gonna have the A sound most likely, but blanket doesn't have A, I don't know why that's there. But catch, calf, crash, gang, again, that's the A sound. Well, I guess it says usually. Sand, sang, angry, band, crack, dance, thanks. So anyways, so you could go through the whole list. This is when you would use your daily test. I'll get closer so you can see it. So you would put, you'd have them write the date and the level, and then you would have them write simply what the, what they're supposed to take from it so that, you know, usually A, it makes the A sound as in cat. So I'll normally have her just put like an A, and then since we've learned like you put the smiley face, if you do My Father's World, and you've done like the first grade, you put like the smiley face over it because it makes the ah sound usually. So that's how we would do that. So then I would test the words. You're only supposed to go for 15 minutes. I found with my daughter that if I do all the words, it's just too much. Like we can never seem to complete it or she'll, she just struggles a lot because there's just too much. So we start now, we'll do half the words from the um, level. And so however far she gets with half the words, we'll do. And then after that, I go through and I read each word to her. Okay, blanket, B-L-A-N-K-E-T. If she spelled that wrong, she'd go words to learn and she'd rewrite it correctly over here. And whatever words she spells incorrectly, we then write on this side. And that's how then those would be the words that we'd work on for that day uh, more in depth. So that's what the daily test. So then for another... Did I say 15 minutes? I meant five minutes. You test for five minutes. And then for another five minutes, you do the 10 step study sheet. So let's say she did write blanket wrong. She'd write blanket here. Then she would say it, blanket. And she'd look at it. Now you'd study it with them um, because sometimes she would just look at it and like not get what was wrong. So we'd look at, okay, A in case is ink. So maybe we'd look at that and then the ET at if she spelled it wrong for some reason, we'd, we'd really look at it, that word, like, why did we spell it wrong? Okay, then she'd say and spell it. So we'd say blanket, B-L-A-N-K-E-T. Okay, then she'd close her eyes and spell it. B -L blanket, B-L-A-N-K-E-T. Okay, then we'd check that. Okay, did she spell it correctly? Then she would trace and say it. Look at that. So I always have a salt tub, and I don't even feel like this is big enough. This is like a Tupperware one. You really want something long so they can really write it out large or you could have them do it on the carpet or something, but really trace it out. And you wanna make sure they're using their arm. I know this looks weird, 
but that motion really helps if your kids are more kinesthetic they really need that large movement if that makes sense okay again you would check it make sure that they did it correctly then they would rewrite it and then they check it if they write it wrong they have to repeat the whole thing over again so it really makes them be like okay i really better make sure i spell it correctly there so after that if they spelled it correctly then we stop and they come down here and they write it in a sentence okay so that's the end of the 10 step study sheet so there's one more step and this one's important so this would be the activity that you would do with the words so I was super grateful I found this like at a used book uh, curriculum sale for free so I was like oh my word this is like gold but the activity task cards you can just uh, their website if you have the spelling power book which you would need to in order to do this but um, they have a link that you can print out some of these activity cards at home and so you're just really trying to have more ways from them to get that word spelled correctly and like stuck in their head so um, I'll show a couple of them you can tape record them saying their words so, or like use their phone and record them um, you could do that they can paint their words so I'll use finger paint and she can then write the word out in finger paint and she like loves that um, you can have them dial a word um, using a telephone and have them uh, dial it out um, say each letter as you dial it uh, you can have them use a computer and type it out um, I have a, a label maker so I'll have her type it out on there and then she gets to print out the label and then she has her word you can have them look it up in the dictionary there's writing prompts um, marking vowels and the root words and the suffixes and homonyms and doing all this stuff I really just use it for the beginning part <laughs> for the different ideas of how to uh, use the words and then that's it for the day you're done so it's pretty simple I feel like so then the next day we would do the same words again with our daily test the only difference would be that at the beginning of the day or the first words would be the ones that she missed from the previous day so then it would be blanket and then we do all the other words and if she spells them all correctly then she's done for the day if she spells more incorrectly we go back to the 10 step study guide study sheet and then the next day again daily test wrong words misspelled words first and then hopefully by then they'll be spelling them correctly if she spells them correctly by then again remember we just did half the words so then the next day normally by day three we can do the second half of the words she would study and again whatever once she got wrong this 10 step study sheet along with the activity and so that's pretty much how we do spelling power I think it's pretty simple um, I hope that was helpful for you I kind of rushed through it but I kind of I, I think once you kind of get a general idea of how it works it's not that complicated but um, I have a great subscriber who this is how she does it and she kind of wrote out she wrote it all out for me because I was doing it a little differently and I'm like oh that's so much simpler <laughs> than what I was doing so um, I just really you know make it simple keep it simple I think that's the whole goal of this really is to keep it simple and not to take too much time with it because if you take too much time you kind of lose them and then they can't remember the words all right so thank you again for stopping by and if you have any questions leave them down below and uh, if you like this video here is another one to go and check out and I hope to see you at the next video all right thanks bye bye